Hello everybody, good morning and happy Friday. I hope you're ready for some science class. Hello Zapatin, he's super excited because today we're doing something really special and it's a little bit of a science and also biology class because look, do you see? This is a flower pot. So we have soil inside and we got a water and we also have some interesting fertilizer that I'm going to explain you what it is in a minute. And we have our seeds ready. So today we're going to do something that the farmers do all the time to produce things for us. So we can have it ready at the supermarket. And a big truck, big, big truck takes it from the farm to the farmer's market and also to the different places, supermarkets around the city. But first they clean it up and they make it ready for us to eat it. But look, today we're actually planting red lettuce. It's salad and it's healthy and it keep us, keeps us strong. Right, Sabatine? Who likes salad? Me, me, me. And I'm going to show you how we do this. So this is the kind of thing that you can plant at your house and it just takes three, I mean not three, 30 days to grow. Not three. I wish it would be awesome three days. No, not three. 30 days, so a whole month. And for a whole month, you and me are going to be seeing, we're going to be looking how this grows. So I'm going to be showing how to plant it, how to take care of these red lettuce, and how easy it can be to do it at your house if you can. So just like the farmers, you can have your own little plant, your own lettuce at your house. Remember that um, Miss Joy had a basil plant at the school we planted last year and we also had tomatoes so we took time to grow those it took a whole uh the whole summer i think it was yeah it took some time but they grew and they were delicious and they grew big and we did pesto with our delicious basil so we can actually grow things but we need to be very diligent and patient okay so here we go what do we need the first thing uh if you don't have a little shovel just like miss joy i don't have that because this is my house i wish i had those things normally I those things i have at the school not at the house i just have these popsicle sticks so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start carving on the soil i'm gonna make a little hole little space so before that you want to clear up any rocks or any bad things that those seeds might find on the way so if you see rocks you take them away if you see any bad hard old things you throw them away old roots you also throw them away. You want it to be fresh and really healthy for these new seeds to grow. So you see we have it here. This is these are the seeds, the red lettuce seeds. And first also we need to put some water to make it a little bit moist. Right? And also we need some kind of fertilizer. So I do not like to use chemical things. And I found these um, smart foam, it's called. So these come, they come in boxes and sometimes in some, inside some boxes when they bring us deliveries. Recently, many companies are doing these as a way to make it nice for the environment. So this is called smart foam. Smart foam. You'll see what happens when I put water on it. 
So as I put water on it, look, do you see? The smart foam becomes basically nothing. Why? Because the smart foam is made of recycled materials and organic. So it's not synthetic. Nope. It's actually very good and it's a great fertilizer. We also used it at the school to grow the basil plants and to grow the tomatoes. So we want to put some nice, a nice amount of a smartphone. It looks like a lot, but actually, as soon as it touches the water, it becomes like cotton. It just goes, whoosh, it melts. So this is actually a good option if you have it at the house. Check the boxes. If you had some recent deliveries, um, they come inside. Just make sure before you do this that it's actually smart foam. So the proof is that when you put water on it, it instantly, instantly wrinkles and it becomes soapy and it dissolves, you see? Because it's made of organic materials. If it doesn't do that, if it stays hard and sticky, then that means it's plastic and you don't want to put that in your plants. Okay, next step. This is actually the magical part. So for this, I need a special song. Music is very special for this kind of moment. Here we go. This is, well, I don't believe in magic. I've been telling Zapatine, magic is not real, but you know what is real? The miracle of life. So when, we grow things, we can actually see life happening. This is even cooler than magic. This is actually real. The seeds are now going in the soil. Now they're in. I'm going to be showing you. Look. Those are the red lettuce seeds. And I'm going to get the soil and I'm going to start covering. You see how the smart foam melts with the soil and the water? So you get that really nice and healthy soil and you cover the seeds. And after we want to put a little bit more water, we're gonna get the water so we can blend it all in. And the seeds can have a nice new home and they're all set and ready to grow. So it's gonna be 30 days. We're going to be checking on them and we're going to be looking how they grow the red lettuce, the magic of life. I hope you like it and I hope you try it.